Hey Waymakers, it's PT uh, with your midweek message. I'm out here at the um, Riverfront Park in Columbia. And this is my first time actually recording out here. But I wanted to kind of get the feel of walking along a path as we uh, closed out and close out our series, The Path, uh, from Sunday. And I still encourage you, like I always do, to go to livestream.com backslash the way Columbia to catch um, each part of this series, especially uh, this last last one, I'm wrapping it up. But I wanted to uh, share with you something that uh, took place here in the part that I was blessed to witness. As I'm walking um, along the entryway or into the park, I pass by uh, two, two ladies, well, I'm actually approaching two ladies who um, are obviously dressed to exercise and uh, different body types and uh, one, uh, as they were approaching me, one doubled back and started walking the other direction. And the other one kept walking towards me, we spoke. And I happened to notice that the one lady, as, I'm, as I continue on my, um, my walk, I noticed that the one lady uh, caught up or went back to uh, have another lady catch up with her. Again, everybody's different body types. This woman that she went back to kind of bring forward or to walk with was of a larger body type. And uh, everybody's sweating, everybody is uh, working out, everybody's getting their, their activity. But this um, the second lady, the one who was uh, at a pace behind, she began to, as soon as the lady caught up with her, she began to apologize. She kept began to say, you know what, I am so sorry. Um, and the, so the lady was like, well, what, is, what, you know, for what? And she says, because I can't keep up with you and, and she called the other lady's name. And the one woman was like, oh, no, 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 we're not going to do that. Um, everybody is here. We're here. We're all here for everyone. So um, then the lady, just, you know, she kept apologizing. She's like, but um, I, I'm, I just can't keep up. So I'm not coming next week so that I don't hold you guys up. And before she could finish that, there was a gentleman, a very thin gentleman um, behind her walking along or, you know, semi-jogging. And they were all, you could tell they were all together though. And he, um, he and the lady immediately go, no, oh no, no, no. We're all in this together and you're gonna come next week. And the lady says, we never expected you to keep up. Uh, this is your first time, you know? And the, the guy, you know, they kept um, encouraging her. They kept walking. Now, keep in mind, they never paused. They never allowed her to stop while she was being discouraged. They kept walking. They both kept motivating her and pushing her to keep going and including her. So um, I noticed that. And I'm like, wow, thank you, God, for allowing me to see that. Because a lot of times we, when we're looking for God and want to see evidence of God, we look for supernatural miraculous things and God is all around us. God showed up in that scenario, that scene that I was privy to in that, hmm, it reminds me of us when we're on our journey, our spiritual journey, and how all of us get on the path at different paces and at different places in life and from different arenas in life. And where I, those people, that group of people represented different genders, different races, different body types, different fitness levels, and they were all in it together. They were all walking the same path, the same path, but under different circumstances. But they all recognized they were on the same path and encouraged each other accordingly. They did not um, down each other. One thing that really stuck out to me was the lady who was willing to, was able to keep pace with the one who was in the front, but was willing to go back and motivate and monitor the one whose first day it was, but also the gentleman who was uh, the fittest of all of them, but who hung in the back to make sure that the newbie wasn't left behind. That, if that wasn't God, I don't know what it is. That is the way, that is the way. And um, I don't know, I just felt very spiritual at that moment because I got to see, I got to see um, kingdom in action. I got to see God in action. I got to see spirit in action and how all these people um, who were so different were coming together for a common purpose and would not allow one to be discouraged or count herself out or be defeated. And so I just wanted to encourage you that uh, there are so many of us who are trying to be uh, godly, trying to um, 
be on some kind of spiritual journey, but we find ourselves around people in environments that are condemning, that are not supportive, that are not encouraging, that are very much willing to let you self-condemn if they're not condemning you themselves, but will leave you behind. They saw that she was trying and they met her where she was. And then the last part about that, um, I noticed that at the end, there was another, there was more of the group. I didn't know it was just, wasn't just those three people. They cheered for her. They cheered for her for finishing. I thought that was phenomenal. That's the kind of spirit that I, I, I thrive in. You know, and I just, I don't know. It was just amazing to me. So I encourage you that as you're along this journey, one, you don't have to do this alone. There are so many people that are on a spiritual journey with you um, that you may not even know that you need to connect with because every environment can't support what you're doing and how you're doing it and you where you are. So I just encourage you, surround yourself with people who um, are willing to get up under you, willing to keep an eye out for you, and uh, are willing to to support you, to encourage you, to lift you up, to not let you fall far, too far behind, all right? I know this one might not be moving mountains, but it's just evidence that God is all around us. We just open your eyes and take notice. All right, I invite everybody to join us for Youth Sunday uh, this Sunday, where we will receive a word from one of our youth. We'll be served by all of our youth, and then we're going to stay after church and have a little fun. I have a, actually a lot of fun. So I invite you to join us at The Way Columbia on Platte Springs Road, 2215 Platte Springs Road. And until we meet again, if not this Sunday, then next Wednesday, right here. I want to tell you I love you. And just go, go be great, be awesome, and make somebody else's day wonderful. Talk to you later.